Right now we're on historic Route 66 in San Bernardino, California. And for today's video, we're gonna be staying somewhere where I've always wanted to stay, but somehow never managed to stay here before. The world famous Wigwam Motel. In this video, we are visiting one of the most iconic sites along Route 66, Wigwam Village Number 7 in San Bernardino, California. In total, there were seven Wigwam villages built across the country between 1933 and 1950. This is one of two that are located on Route 66 and one of three that still remain. The concept was created by a man named Frank Redford and the first Wigwam village was opened in 1933 in Horse Cave, Kentucky. Apparently, Mr. Redford hated the word teepee, so he called it Wigwam Village. Even though wigwams and teepees are not the same thing, and the rooms are obviously shaped like teepees. Redford sold his Kentucky property in 1944 and moved to California. In 1947, he began construction of this wigwam village in San Bernardino, and it opened in 1950. Now, I should take a moment to note, I'm using San Bernardino as the location, but the village is right on the border with the town of Rialto, so you'll sometimes see the village listed as being in Rialto instead of San Bernardino. When it opened, the village consisted of a large wigwam office building and 11 cabins arranged in a semicircle. With a growth boom in San Bernardino and the increased travel along Route 66, a second row was added, making Wigwam Village Number 7 the only one to have two rows of teepees. A third row of cabins were planned at some point, and the foundation of one remains near the northeast corner of the property, but these additional units were never completed. Each room at Wigwam Village Number 7 is 32 feet tall and is 20 feet across at the base. There is also a small swimming pool in the middle of the grassy area behind the office, which is pretty refreshing on a hot San Bernardino day. After Redford died, ownership changed hands a few times over the years, and the Wigwam Village wasn't properly maintained and began to get a somewhat seedy reputation. However, in 2002, this Wigwam Village was purchased by the Patel family, and they have done a magnificent job of restoring the property to its former glory. Wigwam Village Number 7 was included on the National Register of Historic Places in 2012. Now that we've taken a look around the Wigwam Village, Let's take a look at the room we're going to be staying in tonight. And here it is. Because there's three of us, we got the double. And if you're wondering about the ceiling, unfortunately it does not go all the way to the top. It just ends right there. There is a TV in the room and a refrigerator, small desk, a couple windows, air conditioning, and then here is the bathroom. And the shower over here. So pretty much just your standard uh, motel room. But we'll let you know in the morning what it's like to sleep here. Before we headed to bed, we got to see the Wigwam Village at sunset, which looked absolutely incredible. We couldn't have asked for a better day to be there. So it's morning now, and we're gonna head outside because everyone else is still asleep. And it is bright out, so sorry if my eyes are still adjusting to the light here. Um, really nice room. Everything was clean. Had no problems with the room. I think the only negative on the Wigwam Village is that this is really isn't the best of area. So all night long there was police sirens and sirens going off. And also we're right next to Route 66. So there was traffic going down the road all night. 
it was pretty loud in there. I made it a little hard to get some good sleep. But overall, I'd say it's a nice room. And never stayed here before. Always wanted to stay here, so I was happy to spend a night even with the extra noise. If you find yourself on Route 66 in the area, the Wigwam Village is a place that you just have to stop at. It's one of the most iconic spots on Route 66 and is just absolutely amazing in person. So that's our look at Wigwam Village number 7 on Route 66 in Rialto or San Bernardino, depending on who you ask. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing, and we'll see you next week.